Welcome back, my name is Hafid and today we have another digital unboxing. And if you're new to the channel, you should know that I am in no way a professional at X Particles. I just graduated from college this past May. I've been doing a bit of freelancing ever since. I got into projection mapping around my sophomore year and eventually wanted to create my own visuals. So I started to learn Cinema 4D and obviously learn of the fabulous X Particles. And these unboxings are just a way for me to showcase what X Particles can do and also for me to learn because I'm still learning. And like I said, I'm just a regular user. I have the subscription for X Particles. I have the subscription for Cycles 4D. And I created this series just as a way to motivate me and also to bring out some content and expose this amazing plugin for Cinema 4D. And here we have our Ocean Fluid Flip Foam Deformer project example from the Insidium Content Repository. And I believe that this is the fourth project example from the newest batch that is showcasing the ocean and the ocean deformers. If you're interested, go and watch my other videos we looked at the ocean the former itself we look at how um, there was an example of rotation in the ocean with objects and also a big splash as if a big object was to land on the ocean and just create that big splash so go ahead and take a look at those but right now we're gonna go ahead and open up this box i'm gonna go ahead and grab that top face make a cut and open up our box to see what is inside the first thing you're going to see whenever you decompress the file is just a render shot just an example of what you should accomplish whenever you combine both x particles and cycles 4d because these projects are created to look just like this but with cycles 4d obviously you can use your own render system but this is what they're advertising and i believe that you should be using cycles 4d for this so here it is just like outside of the box to give you an example of what this is going to look like I'll go ahead and move that out of the way and then look at our it's really brief documentation they're telling you the name of the project the compatibility this is kind of important you do not need the latest version of cinema 4d i am running r23 but you can use as old as r16 they are telling you however that you do need x particles and cycles for the versions 895 and 509 and i think that those are the latest releases and if you have the subscription just like me you're definitely going to get that just go to your account and you download the latest version and that is everything that we have so let me go ahead and take this and move it out of the way and the last thing that we have is our actual project so let me go ahead and zoom in so we can see the whole thing and here we have a project we do see a body of water that is our flip effect we have the sphere that's probably going to react with the ocean uh, it seems that we have a gravity as well and our camera and as you can see in the animation our ball is just rotating on that volume of ocean obviously creating that foam and just spreading out somewhat realistically into the body of water and just creating a bunch of waves a bunch of noise and yeah and eventually our foam is just um, disappearing slowly and i don't know if i catch this wrong or this is how it's supposed to look like but the waves start pretty pretty high our ball is just rotating and kind of they're kind of colliding with those waves but it starts out pretty intense pretty much all i did was just cache um what it came with you know right out of the box and this is what i'm getting we're obviously getting that foam we're getting those waves but I'll stop it right there and go to the camera over here on my toolbar i already have a shortcut for the cycles for the real-time preview so let me go ahead and attach that over here and just run it and if we take a look at a render example it came in the project you can see that they look somewhat similar but something definitely did not work properly because as you can see our ball over here is not interacting properly with the waves i'm not really sure if this foam is um, interacting correctly they don't really tell us which frame this is exactly so i cannot compare it next to each other i'm gonna go ahead and give this unboxing a thumbs down just because it's not working right out of the box all i did was cast the simulation just so we can have something to show you cycles 4d is doing its work as you can see we have the ocean we have the ground underneath the sphere but the simulation itself it seemed that it didn't work i don't know if the way that i cached it messed it up i just literally pressed cache and i immediately knew that something was wrong with the first frame looked like 
this like those waves are just not i don't know what's going on with those waves so i'll go ahead and save you the trouble of having to cash this i think it took about 12 minutes but i have a pretty beefy not the fastest computer i have uh i9 900k 10 900k rtx 2080 ti but i don't even know if this uses the cpu or the gpu but that's how long it took it might be different on your system it might be faster or it might be slower but now you know that this is not gonna look how it was advertised right out of the box but it's okay i mean we can work with it let's start by the activating cycles and probably deleting the cache just so we can start breaking down the scene i'm gonna hide the camera i'm gonna hide the lights just to have a clean scene so we can do a little bit of a breakdown to see what is included we're gonna start with the emitter as always we have a box emitter with a regular emission that's new as far as i know you create bodies of water with a hexagonal emission maybe that's why the simulation didn't work but let's analyze everything else and we'll deal with it later particles have no speed and a radius of 1.3 we're not using extended data we're not using groups and it's weird it looks like they are in a hexagonal form emission but i don't even know what's going on on the color mode we do have attached a parameter to the color and the gradient is attached to speed so i'm assuming that when they have no speed they're going to be blue and when they have the max speed which is 100 in this case they're going to be this light blue but that is just for display purposes just so we can get an idea what interaction is going on this is not going to show on your render like that unless you want it the second emitter that we have is just going to be created by that xp foam so we'll deal with that later after the emitters i like to take a look at the utility so the first thing that we have is this motion path i assume as the base for our collider our sphere um, as you saw in the animation that's what's going to rotate on this collider comes with the material it comes with the xp collider tag and a cinema 4d aligned to spline so we can align to the motion path and the next thing that we have is just a water tank with a display tag and that's the reason you can only see the lines because they're using wireframe mode so if we deactivate that there you go also with an xp collider tag and i assume that that is what's keeping uh, the volume of water inside of the box and if you want to you can probably just put a glass material into that water tank and there you go you have it a uh, fish fish tank or something i don't know for the modifiers we only have a gravity so i'll I'll go ahead and activate that gravity probably move this motion path back to where it was and let's check that animation okay maybe this is why the waves were um up and you know a lot of movement because immediately the water dropped and our sphere did interact at the beginning but then there's nothing else to interact with because you know there's no waves there's no water everything is at the bottom so it can even touch it maybe that's what happened maybe that's why they did that at the beginning no other modifiers so the next thing i like to go is ahead and try the questions i'll activate what we have at particle speed this is the first time i see this the question is particle data particle data is the speed and if our speed is greater than 150 centimeters we're going to to change the live action which is basically just going to i assume um kill all particles which is what we have here in the operation and i assume that this is just a uh, more efficient more detail it's a way to have more control over what you do with the particles themselves because i don't know how to use this i will just use a modifier and do an xp kill but i don't think that it has that much control over the particles so this is something smart i only need to start or once i get started on more advanced stuff i'll definitely have to deal with questions and actions for the particles so i have both of those activated let me go ahead and see the animation it looks pretty much the same thing so let's go ahead and scroll up and go to the dynamics and the first thing i'm going to do is just activate the fluid flip which is probably going to do most of the work on this animation and there you go as you can see now our volume is pretty much staying uh in place in the form and the shape of that volume and our collider our sphere is finally able to you know interact with the volume itself and i think we can can actually see you know the waves being created by that motion by the motion of the ball uh, yeah there we have it we have waves going on and as you can see this fluid flip is doing a lot of work this is this is actually doing all of the work for us and this is something i really like about x particles that we can just start some simulations have very powerful tools just so we can focus on you know the art direction or if you want to do more technical stuff they will give you a lot of parameters to work with but maybe Man, this is amazing the next dynamics that we have is just an xp foam which is basically going to create that second emitter 
that we saw at the beginning you have all of these parameters over here uh that's kind of overwhelming i'm not gonna deal with that i usually don't deal with that because i just haven't done a lot of these but if i go back and start the animation once again you can see that those really small white dots are going to be basically on foam and that is how easily it gets created it gets based on the emitter of the water body and you know using the fluid flip effects is also going to affect the foam and man this is this is so easy and at this point this is very similar to what we had in the previous video with the fluid flip rotator project example our body of water is interacting with our collider creating foam but we do seem to have the xp ocean deformer in this case so let's go ahead and activate that to see what it's doing as you can see it's a child of the ovd measure in contrast to our previous simulation we don't have a q as a parent of the xp ocean we have a complete ovd measure based on the simulation of those particles but i don't really understand why would you use a xp ocean the former on those waves well i guess if you want to have some initial movement on those waves prior to the object interacting with it to me that kind of will defeat the purpose of the animation i don't think that the motion that the, this uh, collision has over the ocean is going to be very significant what i'm trying to say is that it's going to collide with the xp uh, ocean deformer because they are a lot of waves moving together and as you can see there is some space at the bottom so i don't really know what's going on these project examples do not come with the render animation so we don't really know how they look but this is a reason that i recommend that you watch my videos but also follow me on instagram because that is where i take these projects examples and try to come up with a composition of my own so there you can go see what the previous projects animations look like or might might look like and that will definitely give you a better idea and just give you that animated version of this project examples without you know having to do it yourself so please let me save you some time head to my instagram go follow that content let me know what you think and hopefully you also hopefully it inspires you to start getting into these project examples but here i am on frame 22 it seems that our ball is inside of the water and i'm still not sure if that is interacting properly i know that we have our ocean deformer and that is what is creating those waves and i still don't think that it's going to be looking like a real simulation because the waves are formed by the xp ocean but the ball is reacting to our particle emitters so i don't know we'll find out once we create the final animation thank you for watching thank you for subscribing to those who have subscribed lately go ahead and head to my channel so you can check out the schedule for this series i also have another series actually two more series that i'm working on one of them is in spanish one of them is just like a podcast ish version some of you have already contacted me on social media so thank you for y'all i'm always here if you have any questions suggestions comments write them down in the video but thank you for everything and I'll see you next week.